Hey there, we're finally back with the next voted for home system test. It's been, well, it feels like forever since I've done a home system, but it's really only been a couple weeks. Regardless, let's get to it. So right in front of me today we have the Fenwell MS2. This is a fire suppression release pull station. I honestly don't remember if I put this up before, but you guys voted for an MS2, so here's the Fenwell one just to be a little more unique. Up here we have the Gentex Commander 2. This one showed itself off in Monday's video. Um, it's a 1575. It is a Commander 2. We confirmed that model number. Um, through Gentex's website. The only issue I can see with it is that the strobe does not flash very fast. Um, it's just, it, When it was set to sync, it was doing just about every other flash, but that's not a huge deal for me. I don't really care. We have the SD355 up as usual. Over here, we have the Gentex Commander 3. Um... It's being loud again, unlike what it was last time. So now they're both really loud, and I tried taking my headphones off, and they're too loud. So, Gentex Commander 3 up here. Um, these aren't synced just because of the coding you guys requested, which we'll get to in a second. All this stuff is still the same. BG12s, all that kind of fun stuff. All sorts of fun stuff. Up here, we have uh, the carbon monoxide detector, which might work. Hey, look at that. You can see it flashing up there. And supervisory furnace CO detector. Perfect. That's clear. Down here, we have the Simplex 4251-20, something you guys seem to request quite a lot. Just casually saying that. Up here we have the heat detector as usual and the simplex true alarm smoke detector which is another one you guys tend to request a lot. Uh, I'm not going to be testing any detectors today because I don't think it's really necessary. Um, the coding for the commanders is set to California. My dog just came down. He's going to be in for a surprise. Oh, he walked away. Hey Nash, you might want to move. Three, two one. He's on. All right. Over this way. Like I said, very slow flashing. Some of the flashing you're seeing is uh, actually from a different, the other commander. Um, I don't know why they're skipping, but they're both doing it, so that's interesting. Uh, I should have mentioned there's nothing in the closet. Uh, I don't have anything hooked up right now, so that's cool. The dog's still down here. Scary for the dog. Uh, let's hit the Fenwell MS2. There you go. I will try to reset this if I put the key in the right way. Oh, this one's finicky. Okay. Downside of filming with the phone is that, um, when someone calls you, it stops filming. So, oops. I silenced the system already. Just gotta reset this pull station. You guys generally like to see that spring up for some reason. I don't know, it's just exciting. Hey, let's go reset the panel. And, oh, I put that in alarm too. 
surprise the uh, person who called me, which would be Katie. You guys all know her. Anyway, um, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Everything's reset. All's good and well. Um, stay tuned for the next requested system test. If the next pull station still makes the cut, uh, I'm really excited for it. So it's, it's all based on your votes, though. So you can vote at the link down in the description below or just go to firealarmtech.net slash request. Um, check out the rest of that website. I built a whole wiki, which is super cool. And uh, check out the Discord as well. Those links are, are down below and on the channel as always. For now, guys, I'm Zach. I don't know why I'm telling you that. You probably already know that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.